my dear brothers and sisters, this is a great month, the month of Rajab, one of the most holiest months in the Arabic lunar calendar. The month of Rajab precedes Ramadan by one month, meaning between Ramadan and Rajab there is one month and that is Sha'ban. The month of Rajab that started last week, last Saturday, is one of the greatest months in the year. And it has, it includes so many events. One of the events that in, it includes the birth of Al-Imam Muhammad Al-Jawad, our 10th Imam, whose birth corresponds with Rajab 10th, which is three days from now, on Monday. Today is 7th. Three days from now, it is the anniversary of Al-Imam Al Al-Jawad's birth. Now, Al-Imam Al-Jawad lived for 24, year, for, for 24 years only. He died while he was 24 years. And he became an Imam, a leader, when he was only nine years. Before I talk about his age, I want to talk about his lineage, his origin. He is the son of another Imam. Before I talk about his age, I want to talk about his mother. Al-Imam Al-Jawad, he is the son of Al-Imam Al-Ridha alayhi salam, our ninth Imam. So his father is Al-Imam Al-Ridha. But who is his mother? His mother is a respected lady from Sudan, Bilad al -Nawba. And that's why our Imam, Imam Muhammad Al-Jawad, was dark skin. He looked black. And that sounds, you know, amazing to some people, weird to some people. But we have to understand that in Islam, there is no superiority for one race over another. To the point that one of our greatest imams was a black. He looked black. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about Luqman. Indeed, there is a surah in the Quran, a whole chapter dedicated for Luqman. And who was Luqman? He was another African slave that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions and glorifies. And there is a chapter dedicated after his name in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cites this man and his great words and great wisdom. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I have given Luqman great gift. And that is the great, oh, the, the, the gift of hikmah, wisdom. وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا لُقْمَانَ الْحِكْمَةِ وَمَنْ يُؤْتَ الْحِكْمَةَ فَقَدْ أُوْتِيَ خَيْرًا كَثِيرًا Whoever is given that gift, it is better than any other gift. The gift of wisdom. He was a black. He was an African slave. I say this, my dear brothers and sisters, to prove one point that in our religion, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not discriminate against people because of their color, the color of their skin. And our holy prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam once said, Inna Allah yandhuru ila ulubikum wa la yandhuru ila siwarikum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always focuses on your heart. How pure. Allah does not focus on our skin. In other words, our skin color is irrelevant for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It might be irrelevant to some of us who are racist, but to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it means nothing. It's a color. 